Today we're taking a look at the new 2023 Z1S by Hoyt Archery. Just a reminder guys, head on over to mikesarchery.com to pick up any of our latest logo gear. We got plenty of hats and shirts as well as any gear you might need for your next adventure. Welcome back to Mike's Archery's YouTube and today we are taking a look at the all new 2023 Z1S by Hoyt. Now this is their speed bow for this year and getting the fastest speeds that Hoyt's put out on what would have been their turbo models. So as usual, Hoyt being made in the USA out there in Salt Lake still turning out great products. And if you're looking for a fast bow in a Hoyt, this is gonna be your option. So let's take a look at some of the specs on the Z1S. IBO speed rating is 350 feet per second. The axle to axle on this bow is 33 inches. The overall cam to cam length is 37 and a half. The brace height on this bow is coming in at five and seven eighths with a reflex of five and a quarter. Now the factory spec weight on this is showing up at 4.7 pounds. When we pulled it out of the box, it's coming in at 5.2 pounds. And when we stripped it down, taken off, the short stabilizer, and a couple other things, you got it down to actually factory spec weight at 4.6, coming in maybe just a little under. So it's nice to see these manufacturers holding up with those true weights out there. Now the draw length is adjustable on this as it is built on that HBX cam system, but it is a different cam. You're able to get this bow from 25 to 30 inch draw length, and that is on two base mods as we've seen over the last few years since they've changed from that base cam to a base mod. So it makes it nice and easy to get all your draw length adjustment on one cam. And if you need a short draw, this bow is going to work for you at 25 on the bottom and getting out to 30 inches on the top end. So you long draw guys are just left out, but hey, you're getting the speed anyway with those long arms. So from there, you're able to get this bow in several weight configurations all the way from 40 out to 70 with a 65 option in there. So 40, 50, 60, 65, and 70. They did not offer the new Z1S in an 80 pound option. We were a little surprised to see that uh, as you guys wanna get all the speed you can, but it is not available in an 80 pound option on this bow. The let off on that platform is still 80 to 85% and that is adjustable on those modules on the cam. Now let's take a look at some of the features that Hoyt has put into the new Z1S. It's got the new redesigned S type cam, still very smooth and fast and built on that HBX platform. It does use a slightly different mod than the regular HBX cams. So you're not gonna be able to use those standard HBX mods on this. You'll need the actual Z1S mods, which are similar, like I said, getting the speeds of those turbo models from the past. Now with that redesigned cam, as we said, still got a real nice feel to it, but as you would expect, a little more aggressive to get those extra feet per second. As far as features on this bow and accessories, they've kept all the inline accessory systems built into this bow. You've got your rest with the dovetail on the back so you can put your Hoyt QAD integrated rest there on the back. You've got your pick rail up front so you can use any site out there, whether it be a Hoyt accessory with their fuse lineup or whether you use one of the other many options out there that are coming with a pick mount system. So you're gonna be able to pick up a lot of new options as we've seen the, the market kind of follow this pick rail system. I think you're gonna see a lot more side options, not only for Hoyt, but other manufacturers as well. It also uses their inline quiver system, which is their new quiver, keeping everything nice and tight to the bow. It just makes it a nice sleek setup, taking down vibration and noise on this bow with that inline system. And if you're buying into the complete Hoyt system of accessories, be sure and head over to mikesarchery.com because we've got all those accessories available online for you to purchase now. Now all those accessories, even though the inline system, if you've got older style accessories and want to use those, you've still got your standard rest mount on this bow so you can mount up anything to that single bolt hole uh, as far as a rest. If you're not happy with that QAD integrate system, pick from any of the rests that have been on the market and mount it right on this bow. As far as sights, you've still got your standard sight mounting system on the side. So again, you can use any site out there, whether it be an old or new, and mount right to the side of the bow as you traditionally have over the years. Now some of the other features is the vital point grip on the new Hoyts, and that grip we really like. It's a great feeling grip, sits in your hand very well, nice, slim, sleek. Uh, it's something we have liked about the Hoyt from last year. It continues into this year with that vital point grip. Now the short stop stabilizer is still coming standard on all their models. So you've got that shorty stabilizer mounted low on the riser next to the limb pocket, 
taking out extra vibration, adding a little weight to the bottom of it, but gives it an overall great feel from this bow. You still got your single string stop as well as your fixed roller guard. Just keeps everything nice and smooth and quiet and vibration free. You've also got your limb and riser dampeners which help take more vibration and noise out of this bow. So even though it is a speed bow, it is still something that's a joy to shoot with low hand shock, low vibration, and still a quiet, nice bow. Now some of the color options coming on the new Z1S. On your solid side of things, you've got your standard black, buckskin and wilderness. That new bourbon is also available on the Z1S. And then you've got on the camo side of things, you've got Realtree Edge, QU Verde 2.0, Subalpine, Elevated 2, and then the new colors for this year is that Origin Raptor Highland. So if you're a Cam Haynes follower, that is his new camo pattern, and you can get it completely done in that Raptor Highland camo, or you can get it in the special Keep Hammering model in a blackout, or in the Origin Raptor with the Keep Hammering logos. The other special addition is that bone collector that they've had for years with, with Michael Waddell and the bone collector. You can get that in a blackout with those logos, as well as a Realtree Edge riser with black limbs and those bone collector logos. Now the price point on the new Z1S is a little higher than the VTMs. It's coming to you at a map price of $1,399. So full retail just under $1,400 makes this their speed bow at a premium price. Now from here, we're gonna step back to the range. We're gonna shoot a few arrows over this bow and give you a breakdown on the speeds of this bow, not only from 350 grains all the way out to 500 grains, but we're gonna do this at our usual 29 inches with 85% let off and 70 pounds. All right, so we've stepped back here to the lane and we've been shooting the new Z1S over the chronograph and getting some numbers for you. So let's uh, shoot this for you and give you a breakdown of all the speed specs out from 350 grains out to 500. We'll get you the noise rating and then tell you about the overall feel uh, and shootability of this bow. As usual, we will be shooting this bow at 29 inches at 70 pounds and with 85% let off. So let's take a shot and see what we get here. All right, so with a 400 grain error, which is where we always start, uh, the new Z1S is getting 305 feet per second. Now, as we dropped it back to a 350 grain error, we got 326. And then as we went up, a 450 grain error gave us 292. And then a 500 grain error gave us 274. So overall, out of this faster bow from Hoyt, their speed bow is what they're calling it, uh, really nice speeds. It's a little bit faster than what we've seen out of their other models. And that's exactly what we expected. It's not a ton faster, uh, but it does rate and shoot probably six to eight feet a second faster than most of their standard models in that VTM. Now, when we looked at the noise rating, the Z1S is coming at you with 97.5 decibels. Pretty much standard right there where most bows are as far as noise rating. Not real loud, even though it is a little faster bow. Now, as far as the draw cycle on this bow, obviously it is a more aggressive cam. You can see it in the lobe up front on there. You're gonna feel it coming through the draw cycle. This is not gonna be as smooth as a VTM or last year's Ventum Pro. So you expect that because they're getting more speeds out of it. That redesigned cam does exactly what it's supposed to. You're gonna preload a little bit more on the front end and it is gonna drop off on the back end a little harsher. It's not bad uh, to get speed. You gotta sacrifice something. And frankly, this is a nice compromise. You're getting a little extra speed and it is a little more aggressive, but it's not a lot more aggressive. It's still got a real nice feel, comes over fairly smooth, uh, even though it is a faster bow. Now from there, we've liked that vital point grip, still feels great in your hand. Even though it is a faster bow, it's still just as dead as any of the VTMs. Feels great when this bow goes off, doesn't have any jump, wanting to get out of your hand or any vibration afterwards. All the vibration dampening that they put into this bow uh, is doing exactly what it's supposed to. It's got an overall great feel from that standpoint. Now I know we mentioned it at the beginning, but if you're wanting to load up any Hoyt accessories or anything of that nature, we've got all the Hoyt accessories available online now. So be sure and head over to mikesarchery.com if you're needing anything from a stabilizer, quiver, go sticks, any of the accessories that Hoyt offers, and even logo wear. We've got several options there on our website that you can pick up from us. 
We'll have them right out to you. And of course, if you're in the area, if you're looking for a new Hoyt Z1S, then most certainly stop in at Mike's Archery and we'll get you set up with one.